Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be trying out the brand new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Vault. Now, there's four eyeshadow palettes in here as you can see all four are here. I'm not going to do all four in one video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four videos over the next week or so showing you each individual palette. So, the palette that I have on my eyes today and the one that I'll be doing a tutorial on in this video is the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette and it looks like this. Now, I am loving the greens and the blues and the shimmer and everything about this palette. Like, I am just loving it and look at this look that I've created with this palette. I was so excited to get the Jaclyn Hill Vault about two, three months ago now. I was literally like, I can't believe this is happening. I had the date set. I was like, I'm gonna get it. I can't wait to try these shadows. I can't wait to try it all out. And then a few people on YouTube, a few people on Instagram were saying that the formula, all the palettes weren't that good, that the colors, especially in some of the palettes, I think it was like the greens and the yellow tones and like the yellow and orangey shadows weren't really showing up well. And like, they weren't blending very nicely and they were just not pigmented and they just weren't good. So, she decided to not launch. I'm sure the launch was like in May or June. I can't even remember now. I think it was May or June. So she decided not to launch in May or June and to change the formula and to relaunch in August. So, finally, she launched them. And finally, I got myself them. But because she never launched the original ones, I can't really judge and say what those formulas were like compared to these formulas. So in this video, all I'm going to be showing you guys is this tutorial and how I feel like these palettes performed. I can't really compare to the other palettes because I never got them and I never tried them. So it will be solely on these new formulas. Guys, before you go anywhere, I want you to first subscribe to my channel. Right here, there should be a button that says subscribe. Go ahead and press it. And there's also a little bell just beside the subscribe button. If you press that as well, then you'll get notified every time I upload videos and you'll get to see all this makeup content. I'm a makeup lover. I think you're a makeup lover. So go on and subscribe and hit the bell. And let's get into this video and I hope you guys do enjoy. Okay guys, I'm gonna get straight into the video. As you've seen from the intro, we are reviewing and doing a tutorial on the Jaclyn Hill Vault. Now, there's four eyeshadow palettes, so I am going to be doing one today. I am going to review all four, but I'm going to do them in separate videos so that you guys can see what each um, palette looks like. So this is the Dark Magic palette. Look at them greens. I am loving green shadows at the moment. I think I've said that before, but I am just loving green at the moment. So we are doing the Dark Magic palette today. Might be a little bit tricky because there isn't really much transitional shades in this, apart from this one and maybe this one, but this is kind of too deep. But we're going to go with it. So let's get started. And of course it's very handy that these palettes have a mirror. It's not a full size mirror, but it's still a pretty, it's the fact that it still has a mirror is good because, you know, eyeshadow palettes with mirrors can't go wrong. Okay, the first shade I'm going to go in with is called Shh, which is this here. These are the new formula palettes as well. I think I've already said that in my intro. I never got to try the older formula ones because they were never released, so I never got the chance to get them. But let's see how these ones perform. Already, I feel like they're performing really nicely. They are quite pigmented, even though that is like a tra transitional shade on me. And it is still showing up quite nicely, and they're blending out really effortlessly as well. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with Mojo. Yes, Mojo. Ok, 
Okay, I quite like how Mojo set in there. I like the pigment. Yeah, it's like a deep, rich, dark brown shade, which I'm quite liking. I want to use this shade here, which is called Busted. Now, I thought this was a green, but I think it's more of a blue. So do I want to use that or not? I think we'll go with it. So, I'm going in with Busted. I can't tell whether this is a blue or a green. I think it is more on the blue side, but I do think it has like a tint of green as well in it. I'm quite liking how this is going on and how it's performing and how it's blending out. It's blending really nicely. Next, I'm going to go in with a shimmer and I'm going to put this in the centre of my eyelid. I'm going to go for like a spotlight eye look. Um, the shade I'm going to use is called Power Cut. I'm excited to see how this looks. Oh, it feels really nice. Let's see, let's see. Now I couldn't quite figure out whether this was like a silver. It's like a silver and it looks silver but it's got like a bronze tint to it. It's really strange. But let's try this. Hmm. Not going on as pigmented as what I thought it would. Okay, I'm liking it. But it's not as pigmented as what I thought it was going to be. It's time to wet the brush and try again. I can't decide whether that's just the shade, like whether that's the colour of the eyeshadow or it's not pigmented at all. I just think that that eyeshadow it's quite a light shadow, that's why I'm thinking that it's not showing up as much as what I would have hoped. Yeah, now that I'm putting it on there, I think it is just a shadow. It's quite like a metallic kind of looking shadow. But it's definitely buildable as well. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that look. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly go away, complete the rest of my face, and then I'm going to come back because I don't know if I, I kind of want to go all out and I want to use this black underneath my eye just to smoke it slightly and I want to see how it's going to look. So I'm going to go away and then come back and finish the eyes. So I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. Full face is done. Now I just want to go on, um, now what I want to do is put this black shade which is called Temptress under my eyes. I really want to smoke it out and create like a dark greeny spotlighty kind of look whatever whatever I'm going for I'm just I'm just thinking these different things and thinking right okay go for it so I'm gonna go in with this black shade now it's kind of risky because it could go horribly wrong but let's just hope for the best I'm gonna dab quite a lot off because I feel like this is going to be really pigmented Yes, I'm liking how that's looking. Look, look at the difference between this eye and this eye. It just makes such a difference. Look at that. Smoked out, it's like, oh, dramatic. This side is like, mm, dramatic, but not quite there yet. This side, just, I feel like that just literally adds a pop and it just stands out so much more. Okay, guys, so I have also quickly added some mascara and the shade that I used to create the spotlight I've just like put a tiny tad um, in my inner corner as well. This is the finishing look of the Dark Magic palette. Now I hope that you guys do like this finishing look. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the look that I've created. I think since this is the first palette I've tried out of the four already I'm impressed like really impressed. I feel like some of the other ones might be a little bit harder to work with because they're lighter shades, like there's some yellows, like oranges, like they might be a little bit more tricky but we'll find out in the videos to come. Like I said, I am going to be doing a video on all of these palettes so hopefully this whole week you will see each and every palette and how each of them perform. I can't wait to try the other three palettes so please do stay tuned and you will see 
tutorials on the other three palettes as well that Jaclyn Hill and Morphe have created but for this video I hope you have enjoyed it if you have then leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you for another video